All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching. This video was rec was requested by a uh, subscriber, and uh, they asked how I made or designed the welcome sign that I made for my sister last week. So, basically, this is what I start off with. This was the exact sign, so I'm just going to move it over, and I'm going to show you how I created it. It ain't going to be exact. So, at first, I create a rectangle. It's... Uh, just a little bit smaller than my material. That way I have a border to surround it. And this is uh, 12 by 46. Uh, the material surface is 14 by 48, I believe is what it was. And I just rounded the, uh, the... Put a radius on the corners so they get rounded. And then I go and I type each letter individually because I want to stack them. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do this more professionally inside of a uh, text in a box however i am not sure exactly how to do it at this point so you just get all your letters and then what i do is i go ahead and i make a couple guidelines so that i know i'm keeping them at least pretty close to centered they may not be exact but Sometimes with these kind of signs, it's not about being exact. You know, they look better if they're just a little off. You know, and then if you want to, you can actually stagger them and make them very inconsistent. Or you could even go farther and make your guidelines even narrower so that you make them perfect. It's just all what you like. See, so I put the guidelines in. And I leave some room for error. What I did is I went in four inches from the side of each material. Or f four inches in from the material side. On each side. Four inches in from the material on each side. If I'm saying that right. And then I just kind of centered my letters inside that box. And what I did from there is afterwards I looked at it and I was like, okay, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom, so I can go ahead and I can just slide the letters up a little bit more. Uh, because my sign is 46, I have 46 inches of working space for the lettering. So what I did was I made my letters five inches tall. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. That's 35 inches. Then that gives enough room around it to where th there's room for the stars. You know, because I didn't want to make the letters so big that there was no room for stars. Okay, and after I fine-tune the letters in a bit, I go ahead and start putting down stars. And see, I still thought it was off a little bit, so I go ahead and bring them down some more. I still think it's off a little bit, so I go ahead and bring them down a little bit more and just tinker with it until I get it the way I like it. You know, if you wanted to, you could even put your guidelines at a diagonal and just go for different designs altogether as opposed to just a straight vertical stack. You could maybe stagger them like a staircase from one side back to another. It's all in personal preference. But for the sake of this video, since the signs have already been made, it doesn't need to be perfect, so it's good enough. Let's move on. Now let's put some stars down. <laughs> See, and then you just click and drag, and you can make the stars as big as you want, as little as you want.
That ought to do it. Maybe a couple more. One right in the middle. Okay, now I think I'm just getting carried away. Okay. Let's close out of that. Now, what I need to do is group all these together. So, collect them all. We'll get that one straggler there. And group objects. Now, when I click anything in there, they're all going to light up. So select them all, go to V-Carve, and I'm going to use, I'm, I want to go two tenths of an inch in depth. I'm going to use a 90 degree V-Bit with a quarter inch end mill. And I have all the settings set already. You'll have to set yours per your machine. And, oh, look at, no bueno. We have a problem. So uh, what happened was is that part of the star was protruding onto my border um no bueno i don't like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to ungroup these and see if i just cut that part of the star out if that will change things um, i know it can be done i may need to convert that star to curves and then uh, that's where i get a little confused so if this doesn't work what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete that star altogether put a new one in a little bit smaller that doesn't protrude to the border now I'm going to edit these, boom, and now I have to reselect them because when I edit, that's what happens. Recalculate. Oh, yeah, see, I have an open vector. Yep, look at that star's gone. So we're going to reset and preview. Yep, it just totally left that star out. Okay, so we could leave it like that and we could roll on with it, but I don't like having an open vector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup them. And delete that star. Put a smaller one in its place. Maybe another one right there. Select them all. Regroup them again. If I can find it. There we go. And edit again. Select them. Calculate. Re reset preview. Preview tool path, bada bing, bada boom, all done. So, this is just a real quick to show you how I did this. You could have done it with circles. You could have. I really like how that C comes out. It almost looks like a moon, like a crescent moon. If I would have done it differently, I could have made. I went with that look and kind of tried to make that C look like a crescent moon. Maybe even use text that's different instead of having that little foot on the top. Just have a perfect C. But anyways, that's something for another day. So I appreciate you guys watching. And hit that subscribe button, please. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more videos this week. I'm going to try to come up with the, another one of these videos where I design an open sign. Try to get a few items out there on eBay. Um, I'm going to play with a material called gallium. A metal called gallium. So keep an eye out for that. It's totally off the woodworking path, but it, it's really cool nonetheless. And when I see something cool, i got to just play around with it. Uh, I'm also making over my backyard, so I won't be doing any videos on it, more than likely. I may show you finished product at the end, but for now, I'm just it's going to be a lot of labor. Digging, shovel work, rototilling. So, videos might be a little short this week, but I should still get two or three off. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until the next video, I'm out.